Hey guys, Alana here. So Kelly is actually on vacation this week, so she wasn't able to join me. It's just me doing our YouTube series this week. She is in Hawaii having the time of her life, so I'm actually gonna have her pop in and give us a little peek at what her vacation is like while I'm here holding down the fairy tale fort in Tampa. And so I thought it would be a fun opportunity to take you guys on a behind the scenes day in the life of a fairy tale pet care owner. So I have a very busy day. I'm actually going to be helping our friends over at Eagle Photo Pet Photography to do a photo shoot at the local Humane Society shelter. So every other week or so we meet them at the shelter and we take about two hours, as much time as we can, um, to fit in as many dogs as possible. So five to 10 dogs, but it's whatever dogs have been there the longest. So the dogs that need the photos the most, that need the exposure. And they are super talented pet photographers. So we kind of help them set up their studio at the shelter in one of their breakout rooms. And we help bring the dogs in and out of their cages to help them warm up and feel comfortable in their little makeshift studio. And then they edit those photos. Literally, they're amazing. Within 24 hours, they get these photos edited and when you see the difference between their intake photo that the shelter gets and the professional photos they get, I mean, their personalities shine through in these images and really help them get adopted. So, so far, every time we've done a shoot, all of the dogs, maybe like one or two are left for a couple days, but almost all of them get adopted within 24 to 48 hours and all of them get adopted within the week. So it has been a really special program that we've been doing for a couple years. So I'm gonna have one of those shoots in the morning and then I actually will have to come back home, work on some custom attire for some dogs coming up and some new handlers that I need to get shipped out. And then I also have to get some office work and emails done in between. And then I have a styled shoot where I'm going to be going to a photo shoot at a brand new venue here in Tampa, the Aloft Midtown, and I'm going to be going back to the shelter to pick up an adoptable dog and bring them to the shoot so that we can help the venue, the new venue, showcase their space and do this big fake wedding so that they can use it for marketing materials. And this program of ours where we bring an adoptable dog to these shoots is so special because it showcases that they're pet friendly and gives us a chance to get to know the venue um, and potentially get this dog adopted. And they get great socialization, getting to interact with all these new people and environments. So I am going to take you along for the day so you can see what it looks like on a very busy day as one of the owners of Fairy Tale Pet Care. And I hope you guys enjoy tagging along. So to start my day, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a nice cup of coffee to get going in my fairy tale mug, of course. Taking my own little guy for a walk. Hi. <laughs> now I am on my way to the Humane Society for a adoption photo shoot with a gold photo. Another really cool thing about the Humane Society here, oh, there's nobody out here, I can take this down, um, is they actually are an event space too. So I'm gonna flip this around so that you guys can see. They actually do weddings out here. You can include adoptable dogs and your entire amount spent on the venue is a donation to the shelter. So it's a win-win for everybody and it's absolutely beautiful. They just built the shelter this year. And so obviously we love where, oh look, you got a meet and greet going on down there. Hopefully he's finding his new home. So cute. Aloha, I'm here in Hawaii on a personal vacation. No fairy tale weddings while I'm here, unfortunately, but still enjoying um, my time here. Just wanted to pop in and um, tell you guys a little bit about what's been going on. Lana is 
taking care of everything back home right now. We switch off on vacation, so we make sure that even though we're running a business, that we still get to have personal time as well. So I'm here in Hawaii having, obviously, an amazing time. It is truly paradise. Just wanted to check in tell you guys a little bit about the trip. Probably the most exciting part so far has been snorkeling, seeing all the sea life, sea turtles, many, many sea turtles, lots of fish, coral reefs, tons of birds, all different kinds of birds. What else have we seen? I'm here with my fiance Cassidy. Swinging right now <laughs> at the beach. Background. Oh, oh, yes, we did see a mongoose crossing the road very quickly, but it was really cool. Lots of chickens, tons and tons of chickens. They're living a good life out here. Okay. Rode horses. That was really amazing. Probably the highlight. I know I said it was the sea turtles, but the horseback riding was incredible along the ocean, in the mountains. The scenery here is incredible. The nature is amazing. The absolute best animal experience that we've had so far. Um, our hotel in Maui actually had penguins, African penguins, uh, but they were rescues. They were brought here and they're living an amazing life at the hotel. They just, they have their own little cave, their own little sanctuary. It's adorable, it's amazing. Yeah, maybe I'll check in again. We still have about another week here, so we're excited. And that's all, bye. Hi again. Now I have a very fast break where I'm gonna be at home just catching up on some emails and getting some detailing for the upcoming weddings we have, trying to catch up in between this crazy day. This disaster is my setup as I work on making some new custom attire for some of our upcoming dogs of honor. <laughs> So in about 15 minutes, I'm gonna head back out for the style shoot, which is basically a fake wedding at this brand new venue. It's in a loft in Midtown that just opened up. So what happens with new venues when they wanna showcase that they do weddings, but they obviously haven't done any yet, we get an amazing team of wedding vendors together to put on a big styled shoot where we can kind of utilize all their space, showcase all of our talents. And so what we like to do is bring an adoptable dog from our local shelter because that is a really great way for the venue you to show that they're pet friendly and then it's so much fun because the dog gets a day out of the shelter they get lots of exercise socialization and oftentimes one of the vendors or someone who now sees those amazing photos after ends up adopting the dog so I will be heading to the shelter to pick the dog up soon I'm just catching up on some emails really quick before I leave and we will be sharing that as well see you soon a quick stop at the post office to drop off some custom attire for some new handlers that need their kit, meaning they need their tuxedo bandanas that I just made and some flower collars. And we also provide black leashes and black harnesses for all of our clients. So that way their dogs can all look uniform and look nice in photos. So whenever we have a new handler that we've trained in another area, we make sure to send them a kit that has literally everything that they need. So I just sent out a bunch of handler packets and some custom attire at the post office. And now I am heading to the statue. Oh my goodness gracious. Hello. Gracie, come here. Hello. 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 Now I'm with this cutie pie, Gracie, at the new Loft. It's a little windy. <laughs> and she is in the style shoot. She is in so many photos and it is adorable. We've got an amazing team of vendors and I can't wait to share the photos when we have them. But the best news is that we were here for a total of five minutes and the director here at Aloft adopted her. So we're gonna sponsor her adoption fee and she's now going to be the office dog. So she's gonna come into work here every day. We have a whole team here that loves her and we're working on a partnership with them with the Humane Society of Tampa Bay, which is where this little one's from, so that they can actually have dogs that are adoptable. So when you're visiting and staying at a loft and traveling, you can actually have an adoptable dog stay with you in your room and snuggle you so that you can get some puppy love while you're away from home and away from your dogs. So stay tuned for more on that because a loft is just the best and we're so excited about this new hotel. It's beautiful and we'll be sharing more soon. Gracie, give a boop. Oh my god, are you serious? She is having the time of her life. It's nap time because she worked so hard modeling for photos. We've got hair and makeup going on back here. Oh, sorry to disrupt you. Okay, go back to bed. Good night. It is 8 p.m. and I just got home and my doggy is so happy to see me. 
I know, you're freaking out. He, this is what I deal with because I've been with puppies all day. And so, I know, we whine, we miss your mama. Okay, come here, come here. Mwah. So that's a day in the life of fairy tale pet care. Puppy is Hey there, it's Kelly again. I just wanted to check in now that we are at the end of our trip. Um, I thought I'd give a little update on what the second half looked like. It was incredible, of course. Hawaii is amazing. Um, but we had some really, really awesome animal encounters on the second half of our trip. Um, we spent some time camping on the beach, so we spent a couple nights out there um, in a tent. Our campsite was full of wild chickens. Walking up so curious, they would get right up to us. They were, um, some of them were bad chickens. They were bad chickens that would definitely get into your food or anything else that they could get their little beaks on uh, if you left it out. But uh, yeah, so it was really cool to share our campsite with all the wild chickens. They are living a good life out there on, on the islands. We also hike in the mountains and it was super foggy so we literally could not see anything. It was supposed to be a beautiful scenery. Uh, beautiful landscape but we could not see any of it out of the clouds as we're, we're standing there um comes two nanes they just flew right by it was really cool to see them uh, if you don't know what a nene is it's the state the official state bird of hawaii they are a type of goose and they're extremely rare they are only found on the hawaiian islands so it was really really cool to be able to see them and um they do take great care of them there. So it was, we saw a lot of Nene crossing signs. We saw a lot of conservation areas for them. Um, so it was great to get that sighting. And then we actually got to see them again at our campsite in the morning. We woke up, got out of our tents, and there were probably like 15 of them just getting their, their early worm. Um, so that was, that was really awesome. We just kind of sat there and watched them for a while. And then we, the most awesome part of the trip in all entirety, in my opinion, was um, our shark diving experience. And I was actually super nervous about this. We went with a tour company, Hawaiian Shark Encounters, actually the original shark diving company in Hawaii. Started it really for advocacy and for education. So he ex had many shark encounters. You know, you go out on the boat and you know, he would see all the sharks around and after getting to know them and seeing them in their natural habitat and decided to hop in and just had an amazing experience being with the sharks and a lot of people are afraid of sharks and a lot of that is due to the media kind of portraying them in in that light and so it you know sharks get a bad name so this guy wanted to create some awareness on these amazing animals and started the tour guide company. We drove like three miles off the coast. They use the cage for customers, of course, to feel a little bit more comfortable and safe, but for the sharks. So they wanna make sure that the sharks are comfortable as well. And the sharks are gonna be a lot more comfortable if the people are in a cage. They're gonna feel like they can actually kind of swim around and um, come up to you a little bit more as opposed to if you're just out. So you'll end up seeing a lot more sharks if you go into the cage. I was, like I said, I was super nervous. Not like I thought anything bad was gonna happen. I wasn't scared, but I was just, I could not believe that I was going to go dive with sharks. It sounded like the most insane experience, adrenaline rush, like it's what is gonna happen when I get down there. But after talking to the tour guide, she was so incredibly knowledgeable, just explaining how, you know, explaining her experience with the sharks, um, how she gets to know them. That was really cool to kind of ease my, ease my anxiety a little bit, give me an idea of what I was getting into. So then we jump into the cage and there was probably 10 or 15 uh, Galapagos sharks. They are just swimming around. You're in the cage and um, you know, you could even stick your arm out a little bit, but they're not, they're not getting too close to you. They are extremely curious animals. So like if there's a leaf floating by in the water, they want to go up, they each want to go up and poke it. Honestly, it was so peaceful. It was so cool to see them in their natural habitat. I highly recommend it to anybody potentially the coolest thing I have ever done. So that was awesome. I would go back in a heartbeat. Okay, bye.
Hi, Lana. I know you're watching this. Also, hi to your YouTubers. All in all, an amazing trip. I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. Lots of really awesome animal experiences. And I want to say bye! Okay, bye! Yeah, they do not just cockle doodle doo. What is the actual row? Is it crow? Roost. <laughs> But so cock-a-doodle-doos uh, at all hours.